it should be interesting to see how this fight plays out stylistically. On one side, we have as high level a wrestler as we have seen cross into this division in some time. And I know you guys enjoyed talking wrestling in the fighter meeting. Is it your expectations going to try to take this fight down early? Oh, John, he's going for a single leg right away. It's his best take now. He wants to take you down and he wants to worry you out. He wants to go from position A to position B. Position A, take him down. Position B, on the ground, move to C, get to the mouth. Try to find a way to dominate and in between suffocate him. Make him work at every single turn. This guy's tremendous. He is the embodiment of the fight style that so many of us use. Well, as you know, every MMA round begins on the feet, but prevailing wisdom is this one could hit the canvas and sooner rather than later. Prospects coming up in this division. This man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better. And he has proven that every time he steps into the outcome. He is well-rounded. And many say it. But this kid is well-rounded, and he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, he comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks, and health is wealth. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. All right, ready to go here at the Big A, the Honda Center, and Anaheim, the Duncan. Both fighters have entered the octagon. Could be one of the more important fights of this or any caliber year. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. There is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, the All-American Chris Wyman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tom. Herb Dean, third party in the Octagon Ready. tonight. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules, and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays. Oh, he's hurt bad. Now he's back up. They're certainly getting after it. Great block there. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, nice jab to the head by what? Looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land it right on the spot. Oh, 
Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, big elbow. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but... Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swollen start. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, man. Both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, nice right in. Slips that left hand. Oh. There it is again. Look at that. Aspinall's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut off cheeks sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Aspinall. Push kick there to the body. Oh, high level slip. He's hurt bad. Nice body shot. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Espinall! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout.